do not try to run from the cop just go, uh, if you go back for, uh, 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 just a little bit uh, one oh, you know okay. I just back I just pulled over street. I just pulled over I, they're coming up on me I can I call you back? I down. think they got me for get a Yui. Hold on. This may be the most professional, calm, collected, and patient scammer that I've ever encountered, which likely means that he is very successful at what he does. I had access of his teammate's PC, but it didn't have much on it aside from a couple of victims' phone numbers, which I was able to use to warn them. I was also able to retrieve a real bank account from the scammer, which I was able to report, and this may be the reason that he ghosted me and had his teammate leave me this voicemail the next day. The hard setup. I'm gonna f your ass first. So call me to get a f your ass. Then I will f your ass. Nelda's not nearly as angry as she's been the past couple of episodes. And that's just because this guy was so professional that I was afraid that I was going to lose him if I was too over the top. However, there are some pretty bizarre occurrences that happen here. I've got dysentery. And here. After I stabbed him, I looked at him and I said, This is what happens when you try to steal my money. And here. My boyfriend at the time was selling lots and lots of uh, LSD. And here. You know, it's illegal to pop a, lo uh, a loogie. I mean, hawk a loogie. Uh, pop a Yui. Yui. Anyway, thanks for continuing to support the channel. And if you're new, please do subscribe and click the bell icon for future updates. First thing that I need to do here is I need to escalate this case to the Federal uh, Trade Commission. Is that okay with you? Oh, yeah, well, I, sure, yes, I, I'm, I'm happy to speak to, to, to whoever, yes. And uh, let me ask you this as well. Uh, your son, uh, he has the passwords and uh, the PIN numbers to your banking account and your, uh, like, your cards as well? Yes, yes, uh, he, he does, because he, he keeps track of my finances, and... Uh, you know, it's it's right. it's strange. He he's been he has been talking to a, to a, a a strange, a clandestine group of uh, Russian folks recently, and uh, and and because he keeps bringing them over to my house. It's a it's a group of five men, and I can't understand mm -hmm. a word they're saying because they're speaking in Russian. And uh, but mm -hmm. they're big, they're big, tough-looking guys, and. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't know. It, it, he's ever since he's had his injury, he's had some very odd friends around. I'll I'll say that much. All right. And uh, Susan, uh, does your son stay with you in the same premises? Uh, no, no, he does not live with me. He lives in a a, a very large house. Oh, all right, all right. But, and uh, whenever his friends come to your home, do you think that they connect to your internet as well, by any chance? Uh, well, they, they have the pass. They have my Wi-Fi password, I believe. That's what I'm asking. They do have your Wi-Fi password, right? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, so, uh, see, uh, Neld, first of all, let me be very clear about one thing. Right now, everyone is a suspect. I am seeing some transactions which are uh, not uh, in the best interest of, uh, of the country, first of all. And secondly, these are some pretty big transactions that I'm seeing here that have oh, been no. uh, attempted. The first transaction that I am seeing here is coming in from Sinaloa, New York Entertainment Company. And this transaction is for $8,000 that has been attempted on your account. I can go ahead and cancel this transaction right away. I have a second transaction here that is coming in from Xtrix Technologies. This is again an $8,000 transaction that has been attempted on your uh, on your account. Uh, the third transaction is a $14,000 transaction that is coming in from Texas Gun Store, and this particular transaction 
is a pre-authorized transaction which is set to be debited from your account sometime by the end of today. And there's someone ca uh, calling me here on the telephone. Let's uh, see here. Eight, five, don't worry about six, it, Seth. Seven, do not. Uh, don't worry so, about it. Do not answer any call right now. And it was, you uh, said it was the Sinaloa? Sinaloa, S-I-N-O-L-O-A, Sinaloa, well, I mean, New York. New I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's the cartel. You know, that's like that's like the uh, the Sinaloa cartel. That's like a, 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 a Mexican gang. Uh, and, and there was a famous gangster I... named El Chapo, and he uh, he got put into prison, and I believe he's the one who um who escaped from prison uh mr el chapo really you he, knew all this well i mean that was one of the biggest stories national headlines it was all over the world that they had captured el chapo and they put him in prison and then he escaped from the prison yes i mean i think that everyone here in the states uh knew about El Chapo, yes. You said that there was uh, there was guns purchased? Yeah, uh, there was a transaction, uh, this the unsecured transaction, the $14,000 transaction is coming in from a Texas gun store. So did, did, the, did the cartel uh, purchase guns or something? No, no. The good thing is none of these transactions have gone through. And uh, we uh, need to make sure that uh, none of these transactions, uh, you know, does go through. Oh, wow. So, the, need to so make the, sure. the cartel has taken hold of my account and yes, used and they are trying my to withdraw, money to, yeah. take, to buy guns. And, and so, so wait, so what is the cartel trying to do? What are they doing? Uh, see, ba basically, uh, they are trying to use your account for multiple things. They have a deposit as well for $50,000 that is, uh, that they are trying to deposit into your account. And they are trying to make some other transactions as well. So I don't think it is limited to uh, the fraudulent of the money because they're depositing more money into your account than they're taking out. Oh, so I no. think they may have long-term plans. Dang it. Don't worry. Everything is on a Gosh, recorded call. You're it. not going to be held liable. Oh, ah. I do not like it. I do not like that. I am so sorry. Uh, I mean, I am uh, so sorry. I, I've got my whole life staying out of trouble, except for one time I did have to. I did have to stab a person because they were attacking me. Uh, I did stab a guy once, but uh, all right. But 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 other than that, I've kept out of trouble. The, I'm, I'm a couple of minor shoplifting things from my youth. You know, I stole, I stole, <laughs> I stole a car once, uh, but I was, I was, I was wow. under, I was underage, and so I didn't get charged. But yeah, that, some guy tried to steal my purse, and I have, I keep a, a an actual weapon on me. I keep like a, like a full-sized knife, like a butcher knife, and I, I, and I, and I did stab him in the stomach, and and he passed away. But you know, he he should not have been uh, trying to steal my purse. Because to steal your purse, and absolutely. and after I after I stabbed him, I looked at him and I said, "This is what happens when you try to steal my money." Absolutely, absolutely. That's right. And uh, you you didn't get charged in that either, that, because that was pure self defense that you did. Self defense. Right? That's correct. Yes, sir. I mean, I would certainly never just want to stab someone, but if they try to take my money. Then you better watch out. You're not. You better watch out. Is I, is all I, I'll say. You know, if, if if someone is trying to take my money, I will go to great lengths to make their life a living hell, uh, like a nightmare. You know. Absolutely. So these cartel guys, they Absolutely. they got something. I know they're a gang, and they probably have lots of guns, but they have not met me. Believe me.
They have not met me. This is a part of, uh, you know, uh, I shouldn't be using this particular sentence, but it is a part of a uh, organized crime, uh, to be honest. The Sinaloa New York Entertainment Company, this is an online gambling platform, and they have used their platform for to launder money. Uh, yes, I, I'm so, sorry. This is, this is very, very scary for me. But then again, I do carry my knife I, on me at all times, mm -hmm. so I think I'll be okay. That's great. You should have seen the other guy do, when he do, tried to take my money. You should have seen him. Uh, do you do you think that you should switch to rather a pepper spray than a knife? No, uh, no, no, thank you. I was thinking about actually purchasing <laughs> a gun uh, uh, myself. I thought I thought about maybe purchasing a like an Uzi on the, on the, my son Daniel is on the dark web. I said, I don't know what the heck that is, but, he, but, but he told me that I could, uh, I could get anything I want on there. A human heart. I could get an Uzi. No, no. So, no, uh, ma'am, ma'am, this is, this call is being recorded for legal purposes. Please do not explain this, please. This, uh, I am so sorry to cut you in between, uh, uh, but this call is being recorded for legal purposes. Nelled, uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll rather you not say any of this over this call, okay? Oh, all, all I'm saying is that you can get anything on the dark web, according to my son Daniel. Yes. You can yes, get. Yes, I mean, you absolutely. could get a driver's license. You could get social security number. A human heart. He told me. I said, "What the heck are you going to do with a human mm -hmm. heart?" He said, "Well, some people buy them because they need a heart transplant, and they." They're they're in line and they're never going to get one, so they go purchase one. They bring it to a a doctor and they just transplant that heart right in there. Transplant them, yes, yes. yes He's yes, absolutely yes. true. There, you know, the the internet, the whole of the internet as we know is just the tip of the iceberg. After the internet uh, comes the deep web, and after the deep web comes the actual dark web. And oh. it is huge, and it is a dangerous place. It is well, a I was very thinking about going on there place. and purchasing myself an AK-47 or something to protect myself. Mm. Like an automatic weapon. Yeah. Or like, or gr uh, grenades. Or maybe I'll get a grenade or something. I don't know. <laughs> My son Daniel Teddy said he'd All help right. me with it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would uh, rather suggest you not do that. Buying an AR-style rifle uh, can be pretty dangerous. Do you have a, any any a shooting range where you live? Uh, well, I've actually never shot a gun. That's why my son Daniel was like, why do you want an Uzi? And I said, uh, I don't even know what an Uzi is. I just saw it on a movie one time. And he said, well, have you ever shot a mm -hmm. gun? I said, I've never even shot a gun in my entire life. And he said, do you want to go shooting? And I said, I, I don't want to go with you because he had just gotten off the football field and he smelled like a garbage bag. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but you should try going some, you know, practice shooting someday. And uh, I guess you will have a better idea of the fact that you, if you want to really own a gun or you, you know, don't really want to own a gun, right? Yes, yes. I suppose that would determine it. Yes. Uh, now, I just uh, got a notification from the Federal Trade Commission. Uh, the the Russian guys that come to your place, have you ever heard anyone calling anyone uh, with the name Saragi? By nope. any chance? Do you remember any of, of their names? Uh, Nikolai was one, I believe. I don't know. He was the main guy, Nikolai. Nikolai. Yes. All right. All right. He did most of the talking, but then again, he was speaking Russian, so I don't know. Um, and Do you have any idea how your son, uh, Daniel, uh, got connected uh, with those people? Well, my son, Daniel, he used to sell marijuana. And uh, uh -huh. just, you know, back during high school, a little bit afterwards, but then he started playing for the NFL. 
Um, right. so, uh, so he stopped selling marijuana. He became a, a user, a frequent user of marijuana, but he would use that. Uh, there's some kind of thing you can drink to pass the drug tests. So he started taking that. Uh -huh. And then he began. Uh, he be became involved with a, well, a little money laundering operation. But he he did go to prison for that for some time. Um, so he's all, all he's right. all s set there. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, I, yeah, I, I really don't know. I I assume it's probably something to do with because Daniel collects Magic the Gathering cards. He coll collects those cards and. I see him and those those All Russian right. fellows. They're playing the Magic the Gathering. So I assume that he had a, he was playing the cards with them, and he must he must have met them online at a, at a like on a All forum right. or something. But if if you would like, I, I I could call my son Daniel right now. We could we could ask him about it if you would like. No no no, so, uh, uh, Neld. Uh, as I told you earlier as well, this is highly classified information. Uh, we do, we have no idea who those people are, how dangerous they may or may not be, uh, who they are related with, because the Sinaloa New York Entertainment Company just told me it was a big cartel. And uh, so it's not to the best idea to uh, expose anyone this information. Uh, I'm not saying that Daniel is involved in this, but there could be a possibility that through Daniel, uh, whoever these people are, they are using your uh, network in order to get hold of your banking information and use it for all these activities that are happening. Uh, but uh, uh, let me just go ahead and check this again. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry, Nell, I'm you know, uh, keeping you on the call for such a long time, but uh, I would request you to stay on the line with me. Let me go ahead and get some more updates, and I'll be right back with you in about... Uh, two to three minutes. I hope that is okay with you. Did you did you have something to eat? Uh, well, I I pretty much live on um, just Coke Zero, pretty much. But I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to bleep all that. I think just because. Uh, but yes, I I I do I do um, I do drink Coke Zero. You don't eat anything whole day. Uh, let's see. No, well, I had a pizza. I had some pizza late last night. I ate a half of a pizza all by oh. myself. When's the last time you ate a half of a pizza? I mean, I I, <laughs> I thought to myself, this is gonna make me fat. But I I woke up and I'm I feel like I'm even skinnier than I than I was when I started. <laughs> it's very odd. <laughs> that, that is amazing. Now, Something to do with the. Like uh, with the cough that I have, it could be something to do with the medical condition. That, and I actually just got a text from my doctor uh, about that. Uh -huh. oh, he's asking what does me. That say? Oh, he's asking me to call him right now. Uh, you can just, you know, reply him back that uh, you are uh, busy right now, and you'll call him back uh, in about an hour or two. And these dang PayPal guys keep on. S I, so this any desk is, thing is still open here, and uh, don't worry about it. Uh, and uh, and it then I see uh, the the, the PayPal the secure server mm -hmm. keeps on popping up. It says PayPal secure server here on the screen. No, don't don't worry about it, Nell. Uh, it may very well be a trap. Uh, so don't don't uh, do it anything on your computer as of now. It was a trap. I said it. It oh, may be a trap. Uh, I said on, it may very my, well uh, be a trap. Aid here, just give me one second here. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Could, uh, can Can you repeat that, please? I I said whatever is popping up on your okay, computer, yes, I cannot okay. see so, it. Okay. However, right. it may very well be a trap. It says PayPal support. It says accept, and well, it says it says the same thing. No, don't don't do not accept anything on your uh, on your computer, Neld. Uh, I have informed the uh, the FTC people about uh, you know all these people coming to your home and these. 
PayPal things happening on your computer. Oh, what and, the heck uh, is they this? Will be sending my, uh, my my mouse is moving by itself right now. Is that is that you? No, that I the, I do not see anything see on here. your computer. Do not hold on. Now don't touch your computer, okay? Okay. And now, please let's see. Well, listen to me very carefully. Because the thing is, uh, the mouse is moving. I suppose they're opening up my Google Chrome. Whoever it is. Don't let's see. Don't worry about it now. Okay, they're opening I have, up my. Uh, there are a couple of. Uh, oh, they're cyber opening up my bank right now, the... sir. They're opening up the bank. The PayPal secu I guess that's the PayPal. I don't know. No, don't worry, uh, Nelt. Uh, I have already informed the Federal Trade Commission. They're going to be sending their cyber division uh, people over to your house in order to scan your, uh, first of all, your network and then your computer and your devices just in case there is any kind of uh, spyware or a bug that is stealing your information or making everything happen. All this is definitely, uh, you know, suspicious activities that are happening. So don't don't use your computer for the time being. Just leave the way it is right now. If in case these people come to find out well, about I'm, you know, I am leaving it, but they're clicking around on my bank now. Like I'm not touching my computer, but they're clicking around on my bank website. Is your bank logged in right now on your computer? Yes, yes, because the last. Uh, I forgot what her name is. She was very nice, but she had me log into my bank. And so I, I want you I to did that. log out and of so your it bank. It looks like they're going Just to the transfer tab right now. Hold no, on. no, don't this? do anything. I want you to take the mouse oh. and log out of oh, your dang bank. It. They're trying to. Oh, well, my mouse is blocked. My mouse input is blocked. I can't move my. Dang it. I cannot move my mouse. Uh, you cannot move your mouse? No. Hello? Yeah, I'm right here with you. Can you hear me? Uh, sh should I just turn off the computer? I mean, it seems like they're trying to transfer yes, some money. Yeah, let's do that. Let, yeah, let's do that, Nell. I want you to just press the power button, hold it down till the computer shuts down completely, okay? Okay. Is it shut down all the way? Yes. Are you sure it is all the way shut down? Uh, I think so. Well, oh. All right. Uh, yes, yes, it, it's, it is shut down now. And are you still getting calls on your phone? Who, the, 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 the PayPal? No, Hold on, no, let me text them real quick. They were just texting you. me a second ago. No, ma'am, do not text anyone back, Nelt. Uh, who you you received a text from the uh, the PayPal people? Yes, yes. This it says. Uh, no. It says, ma'am. Do not reply to any text. Turn on mm -hmm. your computer, but it says uh, it's all misspelled. It's weird. It not. They're not spelling things. Right now I'm telling you, these are the these are these are the people who are trying to steal your money. Well, I Do thought not it was the Russians. Do not reply to any messages. This is going over the head. What they're trying to do with your computer? It looks like they have, uh, you know, some kind of access to your computer as well, which is why they're asking you to turn the computer on, and then they're trying to, uh, you know, get in touch with you oh, with bad English. I'm supposed to turn the computer on right now. No, okay, do not, hold on. Do not sec, turn your computer on. Turn it now. on real quick. Uh, no, do not turn it on, Nell. Do not turn on your computer. Nell, can okay. you hear me? So this thing just turned back on here. Uh, well, it's booting up. No, do not. No, Nell, shut down the computer. Oh. Oh, okay. Nell. Okay, Shut the just, computer down. Shut the computer down completely. I'm sorry. Can, can you say that just a little bit louder? My my hearing aid is having troubles. Now shut the computer down. Shut down the computer. Turn off the computer, please. Okay. I pressed the button. 
Is the computer turned off now? Yes, I I I, pr I pressed the I, I held down the power button on my computer and and, uh, and then that uh, the computer is off was, now. Uh, I think so. All right. All right, uh, Nell, uh, do you want to change the batteries on your hearing aid? What? I'm asking, do you want to change the batteries on your hearing aid? Uh, well, uh, no. All right, you can hear me loud and clear, correct? Well, I can hear you loud and clear now that you're speaking into the telephone. It seemed like you were uh, yes. not, maybe it's, you were uh, talking in, uh, away from the telephone previously. I, I understand my that. My doctor is uh, now I'm, texting uh, me, actually, speak of the devil, my doctor is now texting me. And he is saying, All right. Oh, he really wants me to call him. He says it's urgent. Uh. Did you message him back that you will be calling him in about an hour or two? Yes, but he said that uh, this is very urgent. It's a, it's a, it's a health emergency, is what he says. All right. Uh, just uh, let me first of all uh, go ahead and confirm. Just read out the information. I can see if I could conference uh, call I... him in real quick. I mean, th that way I could stay on the line with you, and we, I could speak to him as well. You know how to do that? Well, I think so. It, it, there's a button here uh, on my phone. Let's see. I don't know. I mean, I, I could try, I suppose. Don't don't worry. Uh, before you do, do anything, let me just confirm the information. Do you have the piece of paper in front of you on which you have written down the information? I just told him. I Can just. You hear me? I just told him to buzz off. I said, you know what? I'll I'll call you later. It's probably not that important. He says it's an emergency, All right. All but right. I just say, I said, you know what? Probably not. Maybe it's. I, I mean, I'm just kind of rolling the dice. Hopefully, it's not something that's going to kill me within the next couple of hours or so. No, I'm pretty sure you're doing perfectly fine. You're right. Don't yeah. Worry okay. About it now. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you're sure right. that I'm not. I'm not going to pass away. Uh, from the uh, medical health emergency, right? Hello? Hi, Neld. I'm sorry the call got disconnected. Oh, oh well, it's, it's quite all right. So I was just saying, like, you're sure that I'm not going to pass away or anything or have a heart attack or anything like that, right? No, no, definitely not. Don't say like that. Well, it's just that my, my doctor told me that it's, an, it's a medical health emergency to call him immediately. And so, but, you're, but you are saying that I'm probably not going to pass away. No, uh, if, you, if, you, if, if you think that the situation is really, you know, that serious. Well, my uh, doctor thinks it's serious. It. He says it's a medical health emergency, and, and that's a direct quote. All right. All right, let's do this. I want you to try and put him on the on the uh, on the conference call so that I can record this information as well. Maybe it would be helpful in the uh, in the call recording. And uh, in the meantime, please do not uh, you know inform anyone about this conversation that we are having or me being on the line. Okay. What? Uh, what? You can put him. You can call your doctor once oh, he gets disconnected. Yes. Oh, you will but get But you're saying to not to, to not Just tell him, him to not tell him that you're on the line. Yes. Do not tell anyone that I'm on the line. But as of now. you said this that this is, is a recorded ongoing. line, right? Yes, it is a recorded well, line. Well, it's illegal to not tell someone that you're recording them. Just just so you know, it's 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 actually a wiretapping law. Um, and you are not you you must have consent from both parties to lawfully record a, a phone call i am recording your phone call now well, i am if not I recording anyone well, else well if i conference call. him in you'll be recording his phone call as well so he's going to need to All know right, that so the bank of america is recording a phone call would let's you, do this would you be able I to want tell you him to call that him and 
Now, listen to me. Let's do this. I want you to call him uh, while I'm on the phone. Do not put the call on conference. And once you are done talking to him, just disconnect his call and you'll get connected back to me automatically. So okay? just put you on the hold. Push me on the hold, yes. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to do that. Uh, let's yeah, see. just open up your contacts. Okay, just this this button. Dang it! Hold on. Oh, oh, it's probably this one. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, Nelt, can you hear me? Yes. The call got disconnected. Did you speak to the doctor? What did he say? I've got dysentery. You've got what, I'm sorry? I have dysentery. Dysentery? Yes, I do. I am so I, sorry to hear that. I thought I, I, I honestly, I knew something was wrong. I knew it. Have you been, have you been bleeding from, uh, in your motion or, uh, like? Have I been bleeding in my what? Like when you when you go to the toilet. When you go to the restroom, do you do you see any blood in there? Yes. Yes, when I go to the toilet, I see blood. Yes, I do. Been seeing it for about four and a half years. All right. He told me it's that I have a parasite from what I took a trip to uh, to Morocco one time, and I apparently p picked up a some type of parasite, and I've had it for about four and a half years, he says. I said, how, do, how the heck do you know how long? And he says, believe me, we've got machines, we've got all these d d uh, devices and doodads and all the rest of it. And I said, I don't know about that, but he's, he's a doctor, he says. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure if he, he's telling you that, uh, you know, from my experience as well, usually it is, uh, you know, a parasite or a bacteria or an uh, amoeba, uh, which do uh, these, you know, which results in dysentery, usually, you know, belly cramps, diarrhea, weight loss, fever, or some of the very common, uh, you know, symptoms. Well, specifically, I've got ex that, uh, pretty much what, what my son would call when he was a teenager. He would say, I've got explosive diarrhea. And I've got, I've got that, and I've had that for about uh, the past four and a half years, ever since I went to Morocco. He says it's, a, it's some type of parasite that crawled up inside my intestines. Some type of Moroccan uh, parasites inside my intestines causing me to bleed and have diarrhea. And that's a dysentery. And he told me I need to be drinking lots of water. And he said, "Do you, are you drinking water right now? And I said, I'm drinking a Coke Zero. And he said, throw that in a trash can. I said, absolutely not. Yes. I will not throw that in a trash can. Forget about it. And he said, well, okay, that's but you fine. Have to take care of so yourself. you need to, if you, he says, every single sip of Coke you drink, Coke Zero, you have to have a sip of water. And I said, I, I, that's doable, I'll do that. And I said, I've got the carbonated water. He said, that's not good enough. You need the filtered water. I said, I've only got the, the city water and it's full of all these minerals and it's what they call hard water. And he said, you gotta yeah. go get a filter. And I said, well, I have to go down to the bank. And he said, you need to get a filter on the way and bring it back and start drinking that water. Yes, absolutely. See, uh, 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 do you think, uh, can I ask you something? I mean, I don't want to be personal with you about anything, but uh, now, like, you drink Coke Zero because you think there is no sugar in it? 
What? Is that so? Well, it says it says it right there you, on the on the drink. It says zero sugar. No, yes. that is incorrect. No, like, uh, no, yes, it's, there is no table sugar in it. Well, it says uh, n uh, now, zero sugar me. is what it says. Yes, yes. So there is no table sugar in it, like the white table sugar. There is none of that in there, but. They do have sweeteners like the glucose and the fructose. Well, of course, it but that's not going to hurt me. That he told me it wasn't going to hurt me, is what he said. He said that, or my doctor told me that I could drink the Coke Zero. Did he, did he advise you any medicines? Did, did he advise you to come down and speak with him for the medi medication that he's going to give you? Uh, well, he told me to come into the office and uh, and speak with him for a moment, and I get a prescription. And I'm going to head on down to the to the Walgreens or the C whatever the CVS or. Uh, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's not the worst thing. Because it's to be, bubbling to be up. I mean, honestly, it's bubbling up in my uh, in my tum tum right now. It's. Uh, I I de definitely understand. I. Uh, uh, do you want to take a moment to use the restroom? I can hold the line for you before we get started with this. Okay. Yes. Uh, just, just give me one moment. I gotta go to. The uh huh. Bathroom. Hello? Uh, yes, I'm right here with you, Nelt. Yes, I, I just realized I did not put that on, on mute. Dang it. That's okay, now. I'm sorry Honestly, about that. I, uh, my wife, uh, she met uh, with an accident about uh, a an year and a half back, and she was totally bedridden for at least uh, three months. And uh, I used to do uh, everything for her, but unfortunately she passed away, and she couldn't uh, oh, recover my. from that. Oh, so. no, I'm so sorry to hear that. I, oh no! It, it happened, Honey, uh, I'm so uh, sorry to hear this. This is really, this is really bad. The life has to go on, Nelt. The life has to go on, isn't it? Yes, I suppose. But that'll really throw a wrench in things when your, when your, when your wife passes away from the dysentery. I'm really sorry to hear about this. No, she didn't pass away from the dysentery. I'm sorry, Nell. She she didn't have dysentery. She met with an accident, and uh, she was uh, in a kind of uh, uh, what you call like not completely awake and not completely asleep kind of a situation. I don't believe him, by the way. Uh, she had a concussion, big concussion, and brain, and uh, she couldn't wake up. She couldn't sleep. She just you know had some food and then uh, she was entirely bedridden her both of her legs had multiple fractures she wasn't wearing a seat belt when she was driving uh, back from the office and some drunk drivers uh, they caused her to crash uh, uh, on the side of the road and uh, that's when all this happened. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's really tragic. My my I husband have... passed away n not more than a couple of days ago, and uh, so I I completely understand. It's uh 
It's really tough. A couple of days ago? Yes, yes, unfortunately. I am so sorry to hear that, Susan. Uh, was it was it because of a disease or just like naturally? No, actually, uh, I mean, he's he was in pretty good shape, but uh, yeah, he... It's a strange story. He was actually walking down the street and he f fell into one of those uh, potholes in the middle of the street uh -huh. uh, that leads down to the sewer. And uh, once he was down there, he actually, he drowned. I'm not going to say what he drowned in, but, uh, you know, it's yeah. it's a very odd thing to happen for a guy who lived as long. He was 86 years old, 86 years old. Made it wow. all this way, and and it was actually a a mistake that the Dallas Municipal uh, System uh, made, and they are going to pay for it dearly. There's a there's a whole civil suit right now, wrongful death based upon the negligence of uh, of the city of Dallas Municipal Waste System. Yes, and they're going to pay. They're going to pay one way or another. Trust me. And if they don't pay with the money for the civil case, they're going to pay in other ways, the ways that I will not disclose here. But revenge will be had, I promise you. Because yes, whenever people cross me, for this. whenever people cross me, they they are are going to pay for it. I promise. That is a promise from me. Uh, absolutely, now. And so I spent the first day grieving my husband, and uh, now I am well. I'm full of piss and vinegar, as as they say. I don't know if you've heard that saying before, but uh, I've got my lawyer on mm. it, and it's going to be. You know, I've got plenty of money uh, to to throw at the lawyer because uh, money is no object for me. But it would be a really, sh it would be a real yes. big shame if I wasn't able to have the the money for the lawyer fees. That would be real. That would be a real shame. Yes, absolutely. You know, uh, without the without the money, uh, a poor man cannot really fight against the state. Yes, that's true. Chase Bank and with up to up technology, uh, up and no no no. I want and, you to read uh, it. It says up and up no, and no. technology uh, here. No, I want you to read it. What you have written on the paper, okay? What you have oh, written down on okay. the paper, okay? Yes, yes, okay. All right. So Chase the first thing Bank, is the bank name. Chase and then it Bank. It says up and technology. And second thing is. No, the second thing is the name that is Mount Up with Technology oh, let LLC. Let me get my eraser out here. Okay, Mount and or uh, wait. No, Mount Up. These are two different words. Mount one word. Second word is Up. U as in uniform. P as in Peter. And then the third word is with, W-I-T-H. The fourth word is technology, T-E-C-H-N-O-L-O-G-Y, technology. LLC. You got that? Mount and technology. More, I, I repeat again, uh, Nelt. The name is Mount Up with Technology LLC. Uh, what is the name that you have written down? Mount Up and Technology LLC. No, it is Mount Up with oh, W I T H. Okay. I see. W I T H with technology. Mount with. Yes, Mount Up with Technology LLC. And all these are different words. Mount, one word, up, second word, with, third word,
technology fourth word llc fifth word okay Got that? okay sure and then after that that's the account is and yes, then the routing and then number the route no ma'am uh, that is incorrect i want you to rub is, down uh, i want you to oh, rub wait. it down oh, sorry dang it the, the routing number is incorrect. I'm going to tell you the routing number all over again. What? Uh, Ma'am, the routing number that you have written down is incorrect. I'm going to oh. be, uh, you know, okay. just, just rub it down. Just R erase the it. routing number. Rub it down. Okay, mm -hmm. hold on, let me. So now I've just got. Are you ready for the, the routing Mount number? with Technology LLC in the account, and then the account is uh, blank. I erased it. Ma'am, excuse me. I, sorry. I asked you to Whew. erase the routing number. Can you re erase the routing number? Oh dang it! I erased the account number. No worries. I want you to erase the routing number as well. All right. All right. I'm reading you the account number. I want you to write down the account number first of all. That is. Okay. Is that it? Z is no, 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 no. Yeah, that's not the complete number. After that is your uh, uh, new account number. Okay. And I'm giving you the routing number now. Are you ready for the routing number? Yes, please. And then three times two. That is two, two, two. Three, three times two? Three, three, three. No, ma'am. Two. No, no, two. no, no, no ma'am. No, no. Dang no. it. Uh, just, just, just erase it. I'm going to read it one, uh, one uh, digit at a time. And I want you to repeat it back to me, okay? Great, that is absolutely right. And after the routing number, there is a home address. El Monte, Alabama. Or Al no, ma'am, it's Monte. not Alabama. Sorry. It's, it's, I say things. El, yeah, that's in I don't ever, California. That's well, not Alabama, Alabama. that's well, California. El, El, Monte, El Monte, I guess, is how you're supposed to say it. Yeah, El sorry Monte. About, sorry about that. And then... No, that's okay. And that's not Alabama. It's California, CA. And uh, below that, I want you to, uh, or at the back of the page or below that, you can write down the amount. Just write down amount. That is 32550 dollars. And just in case they ask you the name, you can tell them his name is Man Cam Lam. Okay. Man Cam Lam. All right. Uh, let's do let's do a little rehearsal. Neld, let's say I am the bank teller, and you have to uh, deposit this. Uh, you know, transfer these funds to this bank. How would you talk to me? Okay. I I will say, hello. Uh, I would. i My name is Man Cam Lamb. I'm investing in my. No, 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 ma'am. Your your name is not Man Cam Lamb. Your name is Nell Susan Harris. You're darn you right. You are not someone else. Absolutely. Yes, you are not man. You're not that person. That person is the one who has the name on the account. The man Cam Lam is the owner, is the registered agent for Mount Up with LLC. Mount Up with Technology LLC. He is the registered agent for this company. You are Susan. Uh, I'm sorry, you are Neld. Now, let's say you are standing at the teller counter. I'm the teller. Hello, ma'am. How can I help you? I would like to make a uh, bank transfer, please. Sure. Who would you like to transfer the funds to? Man Cam Lamb. Then you, 
No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Then you hand them over this bank information that you have on the rece- uh, on the page, on the paper. Oh. You have this bank information. You just hand them over this, this uh, piece of paper, and uh, the amount is also written. So you tell them, this is the information that I would like to transfer it to. Okay? Okay. And uh, I'm uh, the bank teller, uh, or uh, will ask you, or may ask you. Uh, so why you want to make uh, such a big transfer the, to this particular company? So what do you say then? I will be investing in a fr- uh, family member's company. Yeah, so you tell them that this company belongs to one of my uh, family, not family member, family friend, not family member, okay? Family friend. So uh, what I want you to do is I want you to grab all the information, all the pages that I have given you, drive to the nearest bank branch, and once you reach the parking lot of the branch, First of all, before you walk inside or before you get out of your car, give me a call on the number that I have given you, the 208 I was going to hit in the car and just, uh, and just uh, speak with you maybe the whole time. Uh, th- that would be much better. Sure, you can do that. Just put me on speaker. Okay, I'm, I'm and, actually uh, all ready to uh, go just, here. Let's, uh, i got to get my purse and, and then my keys. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, and uh, and so right. I'm supposed to just head out, right? Basically. Yes. Just yes. I want you to drive to the nearest branch, and once you reach the parking lot, just let me know. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is uh, is that okay if I take you over to my direct extension? because that is a secure line and uh, the rest of the procedure that we're going to follow is going to be on secure line okay Okay. sure thing i'm just getting into my car yeah i'm giving you all right uh you should be getting a call from my direct extension the 208 number i want you to pick it up please okay yeah hi nels can you hear me Yes, okay. All right. I'm right here with you. Let me know once you reach the bank. Parking lot. Okay. Oh, I'm getting another call right now. Is that is that you? No, no, ma'am. That's not me. Please do not answer. Okay. Okay. So, any who's... So, so Alex, can you tell me about yourself? I mean, I feel I feel kind of selfish. I've been talking about myself the whole time with my dysentery and my husband and all that. There's nothing really to know a lot about myself, ma'am. I have been employed with the Bank of America for the last uh, approximately a little over four and a half years. Uh, Before that, I was working with uh, some of the technological companies, working with uh, digital asset management and things like that. Just a, you know, regular guy doing regular things. Okay. So, uh, you said you were with a digital management company? Digital asset management, yes. Okay. And is is that like the, 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 using the the MySpace and all that to... uh, a digital asset or oh that's like the yeah. the bitcoin no 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 not the bitcoin and anything ma'am it's just a regular like uh uh myspace things and the facebook things and things like that gotcha okay it's regular myspace things because i my, my son when he was in high school he had a myspace and uh, uh-huh. I, I, I said, that seems pretty cool. You can just go on there. But now they got the Facebook. Yes, yes. MySpace uh, eventually, you know, shut down a couple of years back after oh, people really? stopped using I it. I thought that they could, uh, yeah. I thought that you could still get a MySpace account. This guy is just calling me, calling me, calling me incessantly. 
Don't worry. Once we are done with this bank thing, we will take care of the rest. Are you driving right now? Yes, yes. I, I'm just wondering if there's a... Dang it. Yeah, I don't know. He just keeps calling me. I don't know who this is. It's a 551 number. Have you ever heard of this? Have you ever seen this before? Oh, this could be uh, my doctor. Uh, this could be my doctor. Hold on. Should I see if I can... Uh. Hello? Yes? I'm sorry? I don't... Uh, ha, 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 how do I disconnect the phone without not without disconnecting you? You can just let it ring. Don't worry about it. Uh, well, he doesn't you know, stop. It, will get He's just, it must be important. What if this is my son or something? No, ma'am. Trust. What if my is son's it your in doctor? trouble? What if my son's in trouble or something? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I forgot to drink my water. I've just been chugging a Coke Zero. I've got, I brought two of them in the car with me. Oh, you can buy a bottle of water for yourself from uh, possibly one of the stores nearby. Okay. I'm just wondering if that's I him. I think that would be a good He's going to say, are you drinking the water? And I'm going to say, absolutely not. I'm not. I'm drinking Coke Zero. He did tell me that it was like no. critical, uh, like terminal dysentery, whatever that means. Yeah, that is that is uh, quite a serious thing. You should take it seriously. And honestly, if you, uh, you know, if you care about yourself even even a little bit, I would honestly request you to uh, cut down on your Coke Zero because uh, your body needs as much water as it can get. Yes, but because diarrhea, it pulls out all the water from your body. Well, uh, is is it is is the is that fake sugar stuff? Is that bad for for a person or something? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That is absolutely bad. It is it, again the the C, the carbon, the hydrogen, and the oxygen in a different composition. So the sugar is again C H O, and the fructose is again C H O. What is and that? And glucose is again C H O. C is stands for carbon. That's where the, you get the carbonation from. Uh, the uh, the uh, H stands for hydrogen, and the O stands for oxygen. So these are the three elements that mix together to make sugar, to make glucose, to make fructose, and you know the sugar substitutes as we call them. Oh, uh oh, all right. Sorry. Oh, dang it. Sorry. Okay, I'm I'm just about to pull into the bank here. Now, once you reach the parking lot, let me know, and you're safely parked. So, have you have you met anybody s since the passing of your of your wife, or is it your girlfriend? Like, are are, are you dating? I hope you're out there going no, to the I'm... going to the dance clubs and doing the the two steps and all this. <laughs> no, ma'am. I don't really feel like going out uh, at this point of time. I think I'll just hold on to to whatever you know memories I have left of her for a little longer. Oh, that she is, deserves it. That is so sad. Well, she. I mean, she's. To be honest, she, she's passed. She is passed away. So I, I. I don't. She'd probably want you to go date some people. She'd say. Well, if I can't be, you know, she probably wants you to be happy. I'm pretty sure she does. She sounds like a wonderful person. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Okay, I'm pulling in right now. All right. So just walk on in there right now, I suppose. Yeah, just put the phone in your bag so that I can record your conversation. And once you are done with the procedure, I want you to come back in the car and say hello to me. In the meantime, do not get the phone out of your bag, okay? Keep the phone in the bag.
let's see. So you said, here, let me see if I can, let's see if I can put this thing on, let's see. Okay. Hi, Susan, can you hear me? Hello? Hi, Nelt, can you hear me? Hello? Hi, Nelt, can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes. Are you still in the branch? Uh, I am, I'm out in the car right now. All right, so what happened? Well, I, I went in there and I told uh -huh. them that I am the uh, man cam lamb. And I said that I need to make a transfer. Uh -huh. But it was Nancy, and I've known Nancy for, since my childhood. And she said, All you're right. not man cam lamb, you're nailed. And, and I said, I, uh, I said, well, uh -huh. uh, I, I said, listen, I'm just following instructions uh, from from the, right. from the Bank of America. And so Nancy All started right. asking me what, uh, you know, what I would, oh, she's trying to call me right now, actually, dang it. Uh, she started asking right. me what, now, what, what uh -huh. I was doing, but I had to use the restroom uh -huh. because I've been sucking down uh -huh. this uh, Coke Zero when I'm supposed to be drinking water. And so yes. I went to the restroom and had right. diarrhea. And, uh, All right. and I, I basically, I just, I got stressed out and I, and I, I had to leave. I had to leave. And Nancy's texting right. me right now, actually. She's saying, Nell. All right. She's saying, hold on. She's saying, she said, Nell, what, uh -huh. what, what was all that about, is what she says. Uh, all right. You can here. tell, you can just message, yeah, just message what? her that. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, but uh, I, 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 can, can you talk, to, can you no. talk to her? Because, she, I mean. You know, she's been no, ma'am. I want you to understand. What? I understand, but I want you to understand. This is an undercover operation you are on right now, and we are not supposed to be discussing this with anyone. Now, I want you to do one thing. I want you to drive to another Bank of America branch. Okay, not the same one. I want you to drive to another one. There is there are many uh, Bank of America branches where you are at right now. What? I'm saying that I've there are other... Dang it, I've been driving all dang... Oh, God. How? Okay. I, I understand that. I understand. So, I want you to so, understand uh, that we are working... So what am I supposed <clears throat> to do? To work this out. Do you know any other Bank of America branches in your vicinity? Well, I, I, I've been coming to this one for the longest time. I don't see no, what's... No, ma'am, I'm... Why can't we do the, the why can't we do the the one that we already Ma'am I I'm, this is the only branch that we are trying to avoid as of now because your information and your account has been accessed multiple times from the same location so uh the strongest guess is one of the people in the in the staff on this particular branch is involved in this kind of activity well, I'm, I'm right. driving uh, west right now. I think that's what you said. I mean, just driving west, I guess. Yes. Oh, I think it's west. I don't know. You know, it's, sometimes I, I do wonder, should I get a smartphone? Like, should I, sh is it time? Because, uh, you know, my son's able to just put in an address, and it just takes him right there. Mm -hmm. it's, he says it takes yeah, him there absolutely. automatically. I say, how does it do that? He says, well... Yeah, uh, it it just it has a little map on it and it knows where you are. And I said, "What the heck is, what is the world come to?" Yeah, I I understand. Now, uh, what street are you on right now? Do you know? Let's see. Let me let me pull over and look. Mhm. Mm okay. Sorry, this is just whoa, whoa, whoa. People just shoot. You know what? I'm just, I'm not as good as driving as I used to be, to be honest. I yes, think that I might understand. be what the problem uh, is. Oh, oh. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. 
Oh, I missed it. I just missed it. Hold on, let me. They tell me I'm not. Uh, my son is considering maybe having me stop driving. Okay, I I I just took a right on the Ross Avenue. Okay. Yes, continue straight. But that's on the Ross Avenue. But the, you're, am I just going to turn around or something? I mean, it seems like now we're going to southwest. Oh. Yes, ma'am. But you were headed in the wrong direction. Right now we are headed uh, uh, southwest. Yes. And uh, from there, just keep on driving on the Ross Avenue past the 345. To go back under the 345 again? Yes, go under the 345 again. I'm sorry, uh, we just had some mix up on the. Oh, it's okay. What is your uh, favorite food, directions. by the way? What's the favorite thing to eat? I like pizza. You like what? Pizza. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Pizza is a good. It's a good food. You like pizza as well. You had uh, you know, half of it last night, right? I I love the pizza, but uh, I'll tell you what. People have this whole argument. Do you put the pineapple on your pizza? Well, there is a huge argument about that. Uh, yes, there is. A bit of a contentious issue. Mind. It is indeed. Just went under the highway. <laughs> it is. There's so many wonderful call, uh, w wonderful cars around. It's. Uh, oh, it looks like someone wow. is... Oh, I don't know what's... There's a car alarm going off over there. Oh, Alright, don't worry about it. Get what out. do you see? Get out of the way. What do you see there? Get <clears throat> out! Oh, God, these people are obnoxious. There was some person who was uh, out in the middle of the road uh, trying to sell me Girl Scout cookies. I said, get the, no, don't buy get the heck out of the way. That's what I said. I'll help. Uh, you know, once we're done with this, I'll possibly be helping you to do some, some you know, smartphone shopping as well. Oh, well, that thank you so much. Idea. That would be wonderful. Should I get one of the... Uh, oh, I'd like to keep my... You know, now, if I want to keep my uh, current phone, and but I'd, I want it to be a smartphone, is there any way that I can... Conf convert it like is there a, an upgrade like a uh, I'll, like don't a worry, cartridge I'll help or you something I can put into my flip phone it's going to make it smart basically is my question no 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 that that cannot be done right now what do you see around tell me what do you oh, see around you know what I actually lost I lost track of what the heck I was doing uh let's do see there should be a red Carlton coming up ahead. Uh, well, I'm coming on up on the road 366 right now. I don't know how I got turned around. I'm sorry. No, ma'am. I want you to uh, go back on the Olive Street. Should I just pull pull a Yui or just right in the middle of the road? No, don't do it in the middle of the road. Just wait for the right uh, place to do a Yui. Have you heard that song by the Beatles? It's uh, it's called "Why Don't We Do It in the Road." I said that is uh, anti-Christian and satanic. Is what I said. <laughs> yes. Well, it's not funny. It definitely. Is. Yeah, that's not funny. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So just you want me to just? Uh, I mean, I could just I could pull. Just let me pull a Yui. I'll, I'm just gonna do it. Maybe and you know what? Maybe they were talking about that in the song. Maybe they weren't talking about the satanic things. I thought, maybe they were just talking about doing yes. a U-turn. Who knows? Maybe yes. What Did was all that about the the, uh, the cartel? There was a cartel guy or something early, like early on. It must have been at least twenty twenty-five years. Uh, when when all this happened, but what is what is correct? the Sinaloa the the entertainment group? You, you said that there was a, a bunch is, of Mexican gangsters trying to buy purchase guns using my account. What what the heck was that no, all about? I'll explain. 
I, is, I will explain you everything, but very right now you have to concentrate. It's very alarming, I suppose, is, is my whole thing, I say. I've never... I'll give you I all. I don't know. I have heard Where of El Chapo. Where are you right now? What do you see? I definitely have heard of El Chapo. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and read a little bit, bit more about it, but right now, where are you exactly? Well, I'm driving my car. I'm on the North uh, St. Paul Street. All right, there should be Ross Avenue coming up ahead. Ross? Isn't this what we were on, like, 48 or 9 minutes ago or something? Oh, Lordy. Oh, ma'am, we have been... Lordy, we, Lordy, Lordy. You lost the way, you took a wrong turn, so I'm taking to a better, you know, the other place. Now, ma'am, I want you to take a right on the next crossing, that's the Olive Street. Take a right on the Olive Street. Olive Street again? Oh, jeez. Okay. This is going to be a... This is going to be a long trip, seems like. I just took a right on Olive. Ma'am, you... You should ask... You should ask me before you, you know, take your turns, okay? So next time, oh, before I we reach see. the destination, yes, we're yes, not yes. going to discuss anything Just else. Take, take a, a ride. Did right. you take a ride on the Olive Street? What? Well, I was, a, I, was on on, I was already on. I was already on the Olive Street, and I took another ride. Tell me what you see around. Oh man, I've got an extra fruit roll up here. This is wonderful. I just found a fruit roll, a uh, fruit roll up here in my center glove console. Wow! Do you ever have? Uh, have you ever had a fruit roll up before? I think I have. Who hasn't? My son used to uh, eat what he called heroic doses of psilocybin mushrooms, and he would put them inside of the fruit roll ups. And one day, I found right, I found his stash of. Uh, of fruit roll-ups and mushrooms, and boy, did he get in trouble. Not so much for the uh, fruit roll-ups, no, uh, but, but also for the uh, for the mushrooms. But I told him he shouldn't be eating that much sugar anyway. And that's also a reason why yeah. I drink uh, the Coke Zero, because it doesn't have any sugar in it. No, ma'am, it does have sugar in it. W what street are you on right now? You're on straight following the Brand Street right now? Uh, let's see. Where am I here? Uh, okay. I'm on Pacific, uh, Pacific Avenue. Yeah, keep going straight. Keep going straight. Do not turn anywhere. Cross the Northfield Street. The next one is the North Griffin Street. When Tell me what you see around. Take a right on the North Griffin. Hold no, on. Let me take a right. Take a left. Right. Take a left. Take a left. Take a left. A left. What? Oh. Take a left on the North Griffin oh, Street, ma'am. Take a it, left I on the North took Griffin a right. Street. Oh, jeez. Dang it. I'm over by the Fox Forest Station. All right, ma'am. I want you to turn around on the North Griffin Street. Is pop, the the is Bank of America Yui? Financial Center okay, is let me just pop behind a Yui you. Here. Popping a Yui. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's illegal to pop a, lo uh, a loogie. I mean, hawk a loogie. Uh, pop a yui. Yui. Take a yui. Take a, if it is illegal, try to take it from a different place. Don't do it. Don't do anything that's not legal. Well, I've done quite a few illegal things in my day, so I... Uh, illegal U-turn is kind of low on the list. As I said, I have s I've literally stabbed a man, but I guess it was uh, nah, it was in self-defense, so it's fine. But I I did kill yeah. a guy once. Yeah. Do you see the Bank of America Financial Center on your Let's right? Let's see here. There, oh. there is a big building. There is a Oops. big building. I see right the right in front of. Ah, uh, I yeah. see the Olive Garden. Oh no, I see the Civic garden sorry uh, I need, no ma'am i'm not you even have wearing to, my glasses you have at crossed. this point i should be i should be wearing my glasses ma'am you have ma'am you have to take a ue from here you have again crossed off of the bank of america financial center oh all righty taking it you, 
Take yes, I want you to go back. Just oh, no. take a U-turn. Uh -oh. Hold up. There is actually a police officer. Oh, no, no, no. no. Sorry. Uh, there's like a shootout or something. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I, uh, I might have to call you back, to be honest. This is not good. Uh, these guys might be pulling me over right now, sir. Hello? Yes, ma'am, I can hear you. Put the phone down, okay? Put the phone down. <sighs> okay, I... Uh, It's possible that, that I might be able to get away from them, though. Hold on. No, ma'am. Do not try to run from the cops. Do not try to run from the cop. Just go, uh, if you go back, uh, 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 just a little bit, uh, one, oh, you know, okay. crossing I just, back I just from pulled the main over. street. I just pulled over. I d they're coming up on me. I've Can I call you back? I down. think they got me for get a Yui. Hold on. Okay, well... This is an interesting turn of events. Hello? Hi, Nelt. Uh, are you through with the police? Uh, yes, I... That, well, I'm not quite finished. I'm sitting in my car. And they're... Uh, All right. They're back there giving me... They're writing me a, a ticket here for taking that illegal uh, U-turn. Illegal oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, now, you need to listen to me very carefully. Just up the street on the left, Right across the Chef Wang Chinese, there is a Bank of America branch. Just up the street on the left. Oh, I yes, want you yes, to go I, can, there. I can see it right now. I, I see it. Right. I want you to drive into the parking lot of the Bank of America. That's a financial center. And let me know. Give me a call. You do have my number, right, on the paper that you wrote it down, the 208 number. Can you read it to me? What? The 208 number I gave you, my direct extension, that's on your phone as well. 208 uh, I, I scribbled it, sorry. It says 160. Uh, I kind of scribbled on it. But uh, but you're calling me from this 800 number. What show? Can I just call you back on this one? That's no, ma'am. This will get connected to the regular customer service department, and uh, you wouldn't be able to reach me in at least 15, 20 minutes. It will take for you to reach me, which is why I have given you the direct extension. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah, he's he's coming back right now. Uh, let me let me call you back when he's done. I'll, I'll call you back in about. Two or three minutes. I think that's it. Should be the end. I'm of it. sending you. I'm sending you. Hi, this is Alex. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Nell. This is Alex. Yes. Yes. Uh, he he just took off. I, I I just got a little ticket here. It's. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Uh, I want you to drive. I want you to drive into the uh, Amer uh, the Bank of America uh, financial center. Okay, sounds good. And and uh, would would it be okay to to bill this to uh, to I guess to the Bank of America because it's uh it's two hundred. I did only take a U turn at 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 your request, so I I, I do kind of think that you might be responsible uh, financially possibly for this. Um, uh, Ma'am, I can ask my manager if we can do that. Uh, we have done things in the past as well, but uh, okay. I can try doing it Sounds again. Sounds good. It's it's two hundred uh, two hundred thirty five dollars. Anyways, uh, okay. So I am, I'm, I'm in my car. I can see the Bank of America. It's right there. All right. I want you to drive to the parking and let me know once you are safely parked. You need to go in, tell them, hi, my name is Neld, and I want to make a transfer from my account to uh, another account and give them this receipt, this paper, and tell them that you have to transfer the amount that has been, uh, that, that is specified on the, uh, uh, at the bottom of the page. Do you see that? How much is the amount? Can you repeat to me? $32,550. Absolutely right. Now, you got this. I want you to be very confident when you walk in. 
get this transfer done if they ask you why you're transferring what what are you going to tell them uh oh that a, a friend of the family is starting a business and i am mm -hmm. uh, giving them some money to get started up yes you are investing some money to get them started up okay all right that's all you have to do they will give you a transfer receipt i want you to take that okay transfer so receipt i will uh, and get... i will i guess i'll just give you a call uh whenever i get out here i'm i'm gonna go ahead and walk in okay sure i'll see you in a little bit okay a... and <laughs> he's not gonna get a receipt thank you for calling this is alex how may I help you uh yes alex hello yeah hi yes this is neld oh hi hi neld yes Tell yes me. yes okay so here's the deal i don't know those people in there like i said at, at the last place uh i i know nancy so she knows that i'm uh -huh. i'm i'm i play it by the book but uh all right so i i go in there uh, into this new uh -huh. branch I've never been into, and I say, uh -huh. hello, you know, my name is Neld. I need to make a, a transfer uh, because I'm investing in a family friend's business. And they went on to, to tell me that my account has been on hold because the other branch called and said that there was a suspicious, uh, that I, I was asking for something suspicious. And I, uh -huh. to I told them at this new branch i said that's absolutely untrue um uh -huh. that i'm i'm my name is neld and i'm trying to invest thirty two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars in a family friend's business and they uh -huh. said ma'am uh would you be able to talk to our fraud department and i said well i'm uh -huh. on I, I i said i've already spoken with the fraud department um all right and they said, well, we need, we need to talk to you about some things. And they asked me which fraud department I've already spoken to. I didn't get into it. I, 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 avoided, uh -huh. I avoided the question, but they wanted me to talk uh -huh. to the fraud team. And I said, I don't, uh -huh. have, I don't have time for this. Are you able to transfer the money or not? And they said, absolutely uh -huh. not. Your account has been placed on hold. And uh, it'll be placed on hold for the next two days next 44 48 hours unless you come talk to the fraud department all right so i left i'm back in my car in the parking okay. garage all right no problem now uh let's do this what i want you to do is uh i want you to drive back home let me take care of this on my end and let me see what i can uh, come up with if needed we will follow the procedure and we'll do what, what we're supposed to do all right. Okay. Does that can, sound like a plan? Can you give me the directions to get back to my house, please? Give me a moment. Okay. I'm pulling out, so I, I guess I will be taking a, a right. left on the Griffin Street. Yes, a left on the North Griffin Street once you head out. And as soon as you take the left, there will be Chef Wang on your right hand side. Do what? Oh yes. I'm saying I see the Chef you Wang. You have the Chef Wang? Yes. Yeah, I want you to head north on the on the uh, North Griffin Street. Okay. Let me know once you cross the Chef Wang. All right. I just Let's see. Well, I'm passing it. I'm passing it right now. I wonder what they've got in All there. Right. It's a, I guess it's a Chinese food. And I wonder if it, the Chef Wang is the name of the man. If his name is Wang or something. But Yeah, uh, definitely. This is a Chinese restaurant. And it's got some great ratings as well. 4.3 in 156. Oh. Uh, Reviews. Well, that so is just I'm wonderful. I'm pretty sure it's a. Uh, yes, it is. 
All right. So you have to. My son tells me I am. A, I'm. I don't. I am not good with directions. He told me. He says my sense of directions is all I, I, messed up. I said I don't know about that. I understand. And I said, I, would, I said, uh, you know what, young whippersnapper, you, you, same is going to go for you. You're going to have it. It's going to be because he's directly. I said, do you even know how ge uh, genetics works? And uh, and he said, yeah. And and he, there's a lot. What mm -hmm. is going on over here? I'm at a stoplight. All right. <sighs> Sorry. Now you have to take uh, one of the rights ahead. Uh, do you know what street is up God. ahead? It's like playing bumper cars around here. Uh, it says, "I'm, I'm." Uh, where, where is this here? I am by. I'm over by Maple Street. I'm sorry, I've lost you. Well, you know what? It's it's okay. You know what? I'm actually having a wonderful time driving. I haven't driven this much and since <laughs> uh, since my earlier years. Wow. I used to take road trips. I used to go see the Grateful Dead. All the way from Texas? Oh, uh, yeah. All the way from oh, uh, yeah. We Dallas? Did, we did entire tours with the Grateful Dead. And, you know, once you're on the tour, you just go to every show with them. And uh, my uh -huh. my boyfriend at the time was selling uh, lots, lots, and lots, and lots of uh, LSD. And he didn't tell me about it. Um, wow. Yeah, he didn't tell me about it. When I found out, with, uh, he was... What he was doing, I broke up with him right there on the spot. We were at, in the middle of Soldier Field, a legendary Grateful Dead venue. But my timeline uh -huh. might be off a bit because I, I, I did go see the, the final shows as well down there with Jerry Garcia. But yes, it was, uh, let's see, when was this? This was probably 19... Uh, where, where exactly can you tell me what street are you on right now? I probably 1970 or so. And they were just picking up steam. Uh, what? And uh, they hadn't even done the Europe mm -hmm. tour yet. And, uh... Oh, right. goodness gracious. Anyway, I'm, I am not even paying attention to the road. I am getting... Ma'am, I would uh, request you to pay attention to the road and tell me what, what street are you on right now. I am still on Maple Avenue. Let me know once you hit the 75. Okay. I don't know what's going on anywhere. Okay. This thing. Might have a bit of a, fl a low tire at this point. Uh, oh well. Yeah, you can stop at, uh, you, you, if you want, you can stop at one of the gas stations and, uh, uh, do you think that you can make back home from where you are at right now? Yes, yes. I'm about to pull up on the on the 75 here. All right. I should be all good to go. I'll talk to you later. All okay? right. Now listen. Yeah, ju okay. just give me. Yes, hi, ma'am. This is Alex once again. Uh, I'm sorry. I was uh, busy on a different call. When you called me. Oh, it's, uh, all, it's okay. It's no you, problem. Did you reach home safely? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm sitting on my computer at the moment. All right. That's great. And just in case you get any notifications that you do not recognize, do not accept anything, uh, because right now I think that your computer may also be infected. So we'll definitely be setting up uh, an appointment with one of the cyber experts to look into your computer as well. And uh, moreover, did you did you have something to eat for yourself? Did you drink some water? Well, I had myself a nice Coke Zero. Oh my God, you're killing yourself! Why don't you understand? Well, I don't I... don't. What? I'm saying don't do this to yourself. Just take care of yourself. That's, you know, your health is very important thing. 
And uh, if you keep doing the Coke Zero thing, it's going to harm you. So maybe not for a long time, but for some time, at least, let's say, 15 days or a month, at least you can cut short on your Coke Zero and start drinking, you know, more and more water. Well, that's a very nice thing. I I, I am following the the instructions of my doctor. I um, I and, was drinking mm -hmm. a uh, glass of water every time I had a Coke. Uh, All right. And uh, are you uh, when are you planning to visit the doctor? He called you at the office, right? Well, he called me a second ago. I just I put him on mute. I j I didn't even answer it. Oh, okay. No, I want you to, uh, you know, most likely be visiting the doctor uh, sometime tomorrow. Just give, pay him a visit. Call him right now uh, when you're done talking to me. Call him and set up an appointment for tomorrow. Go to him, ask his permission, you know, uh, what, it, what exactly he wants to tell you. And again, um, just listen to the doctor. And uh, if you can listen to me as well, just do that and cut down on your Coke Zero as much as possible. It's not good for you. Well, that's very sweet of you. All right. No problem. And yes, did you receive any call from the bank? Uh, no, no, I, d I don't think so. All right. No problem. Um, uh, if in case, you know, you get a call from the bank, uh, you can tell them that uh, when you went to your branch, uh, you got confused uh, 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 and you said something that you shouldn't have, but no problem. You will be going to the bank maybe in a day or two and uh, we'll be getting the, the you know, things fixed in your account. And uh, meanwhile, uh, if in case they ask you what exactly were you trying to do, you have to follow the same story that I told you for the time being that, uh, you know, you're planning to invest some money in uh, in a family friend's uh, business, that he's expanding his business and you want to invest some money in it in order to, you know, looking out for some gain. All right. Oh, OK. Yes, just stay on the same page with me and we're going to get this through and most likely uh, whoever is has tried, uh, you know, uh, taking your money out or whoever has tried using your information, I'm sure sooner or later we will get a hold of those, you know, people, whoever they are. Well, I hope so. I hope so as well. And then, you know, when, when, we, fi when we find them and we catch them, you can stab them in the stomach. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Don't do that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I would need to be... <laughs> I would need to be attacked by someone first, and then I will stab yes. indiscriminately. I will stab. <laughs> All right. Do you do you have any questions for me? Nope. I I believe that's it. So I guess you're going to give me a call tomorrow or something. I will be giving you a call tomorrow as soon as I reach uh, my desk, my office. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is check your time and give you a call back. What time do you wake up normally? Uh, well, I'll be up probably around, I don't know, 9.30, probably somewhere around 9.30, 10 o'clock. Let me, let me do this. Uh, I'll try giving you a call at about uh, 10 or 11, between 10 and 11. Okay, that sounds wonderful. That sounds right. And you do one thing, you do me a favor, you fix up an appointment with your doctor, okay? Okay, I, I will do it. All right, thank you so much. You're so kind. I'll talk to you tomorrow then, but bye for now. Have a nice night ahead oh. and uh, stay low on your Coke Zero. Well, I appreciate it. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I never heard from this guy again. However, the next day I got the following voicemail from the same number he was using to call me. You hired son of a bitch. Hey bitch, I'm gonna f you at ass first. So call me to get a f your ass. Then I will f your ass. Something tells me that they put two and two together. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week.